This is the Gosen Q7, and I'm gonna give you a concise, in-depth review of this dual battery, long range, folding, full suspension, 28 mile per hour fat tire electric bike with cruise control. So this thing has two batteries, one in the frame here and one in the seat, and they add up to 31 amp hours of energy, 48 volts, putting us just under 1500 watt hours. Dude, and look at this battery. How interesting. What a clever idea to build a battery into the seat post. So you get two separate bar indicators there. And in this review, I'm going to give you a range test as well as a top speed test, acceleration test, and a hill climbing test. So we'll get to all that in just a few. Uh, let me start out with the basics here. So this thing, you can actually switch the battery from front to rear battery. There's a little switch down here. So right now we're running it on the front battery, but I can flip the switch and now I'll be running on the back battery. Now this is excellent for not having to worry about range when you have two batteries. So if you ever run out of battery on one, just flip it over and you can go to the second one. Now the second part about this, as I just mentioned, 31 amp hours is huge. 1500 watt hours on an electric bike is a lot more than we normally see on electric bikes. Typically on like a small electric bike, we'll have just the size of this battery powering just the bike by itself. Or on an electric bike that has a big battery, it will have a battery the size of what you find in just the seat tube of this bike. So adding up both of those is gonna make for substantial range on this bike. Now this is a full suspension electric bike. So it has the front suspension as well as the rear suspension. And that really makes for a really comfortable ride while riding this bike. So the front suspension is adjustable. There's a, there's a little thing here on the right that you can adjust it to change how firm or soft it is, as well as a preload adjustment. And then the rear fast ace suspension is pretty decent. Now this is listed as a class three electric bike. Typically a class three electric bike will stop assisting you uh, the thumb throttle at 20 miles an hour and then pedal assistance will work up to 28. This one is a little different. It seems to just keep doing uh, thumb throttle beyond 20 miles an hour. So it'll bring you all the way up to like 26 or so. And another really cool thing about this bike is it has Cruise control. If you hold down the throttle for eight seconds and then let off, it will just cruise control you. So like, you don't have to pedal, you don't have to hold down the throttle. It'll just keep going until you tap on the brake and it'll take away the power. Now, as far as pedaling this bike goes, you know, it's a folding electric bike. It's not really meant to be like a great bike to pedal. You can pedal it, definitely put some power down to the pedals but it is a little bit more of like an awkward feeling compared to like a traditional bicycle. But that's kind of just the trade-off you get when you do uh, the folding style bikes. So the uh, fat tires, they definitely uh, they are capable of getting you off-road. You can ride this thing in the sand. Let's just give it a try right here, actually. Just pop off in the sand here for a minute. So the fat tire, four inch wide fat tires and 750 watt motor definitely makes this thing capable of riding on sand and it has pretty good power and decent torque not like the greatest torque it's not like the greatest hill climber i'll show you what the hill climbing abilities are like right here in this clip all right going to do the steep hill test on the q7 under throttle only Let's see what kind of torque this thing has throttle only ready to go i weigh 195 pounds and it doesn't quite have enough torque to do the steep hill test under its own throttle only on the rear battery. But with a little bit of help of pedaling, it can do it. So this bike, you know, is capable of climbing hills, but not, it can't do it under like the steepest hill under throttle assist only. This bike seems to be a lot more geared for like top speed rather than low end torque. So like if you give this thing a little bit of pedaling, you can cruise at like 26 pretty easily. This is a fast e-bike. All right, let's do an acceleration test on the Gosen Q7. Pedal assist five, we're gonna do throttle only. I weigh 195 pounds. GPS speedometer is right here. Bike speedometer, ready, go. 
So it shows you your current output right on the screen, which is cool. So showing 17, 18 amps. That's really a cool feature. I never see that on bikes. 20 miles an hour, accelerating beyond 20 miles an hour under throttle only. 24, 25. Wow, this thing will just keep adding speed. All right, we better stop. There's a stop sign coming. Pardon the windstorm that's going on right now. This is some pretty rare weather out here, but I decided I'm going to come out here, have some fun on the Q7 anyway, in these rare conditions. So this bike does have seven gears, Shimano uh, shifter. It's geared pretty well for, you know, a bike that goes like 27, 28 miles an hour. This thing moves though, let me tell you. This bike, if you're looking for like a hill climber, this isn't the greatest hill climber, but if you're looking for something that's fast and has big range and foldable and all terrain, this might be the ticket for you. You know, the, the fat tires definitely make it all terrain. It's got the suspension, so you can ride this thing off road and it really isolates you from the bumps with those big thick tires and all the suspension components like, just whip this thing through wow yeah this is like sitting on a cloud it has a little bit of uh, suspension built in the seat as well and then it's also got uh, hydraulic brakes so hydraulic disc brakes I'll show you how well the hydraulic disc brakes work with a little clip here and brakes And they definitely bring the bike to a stop. So the levers feel like good in your hand. Um, with the front suspension, it kind of tends to dive a little bit forward um, on the front tire and lock the back tire up and make it like kind of like lock up, which is kind of fun. It gets like you get a little sideways if you try to. I mean, I've kind of been trying to do that. Riding position of this bike, this is actually a pretty comfortable bike. Um, you know, in my opinion, I think these things look a little goofy, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it's a foldable electric bike, so you're, you don't get like the same styling as a traditional looking bike. But in terms of like the seating position, the handlebars and seat is pretty comfortable. So I'm pretty sure if I don't turn around, I'm gonna get rained out for the first time ever in Los Angeles. But this thing moves, let me tell you, dude, this thing is surprisingly fast. All right, this is gonna be the first time I'm ever abandoning riding on the beach. It's so windy out here. Uh, there's just nothing blocking the wind. So we're gonna go up this steep hill right over here. This is like a, not a super steep hill. This is kind of just more of like a, well, it's pretty steep but it's, it's not like as steep as like my hill test hill. And as you can see, like it's, this bike can do it under throttle only. So this is actually pretty good torque. Um, not the highest torque bike I've ever tested, that's for sure. But like I was saying, you know, the gears seem to be, the geared hub motor seems to be geared a little more for top end speed than um, hill climbing ability. So here's the kind of a cool thing. Uh, after climbing that hill, there's a little bit of voltage sag. That's just what happens with all, all batteries. Uh, if you want, you can just flip it on over and switch and use your other battery. Like, that, what other bike do you have the option to switch between batteries while you're riding? So the bike does have five levels of pedal assist and it's a cadence sensor. Um, on pedal assist zero, it will give you nothing. The, thr the throttle doesn't give you anything either. You can bump it on to pedal assist one. That brings you up to about like eight miles an hour. So it won't help you at all if you're over eight miles an hour. Um, but yeah, once you're on pedal assist one, it, it kind of just helps you to around eight or nine. Then pedal assist two will bring you up a little quicker to about 12 or so. And the cool thing about this bike is it actually shows you the current how much the motor is helping you at all times right down there at the bottom of this screen. So five levels, pedal assist five will, you know, help you all the way up to the max speed of the bike, which is around 28 miles an hour. 
So who is this bike for? Well, I mean, if you need to pack up a bike that's got a lot of range and can ride anywhere, this could be the ticket for you. Uh, it's got headlights on the front. It's got a little light on the rear as well. It's not a brake light, but it is a light. We gotta put this speed to the test and make it home before we get rained out because I feel some sprinkles coming down. It does never rain here, what the heck? Well, here we are 17 miles into this ride. Apparently, I got rained out back there for the first time ever in Los Angeles. 17 miles into this ride and both the batteries are showing full. I know they're not full, but it's registering 50.3 volts. It's 48 volt battery. Let's flip it over to the other one. 47 volts on the other one. So, I mean, from my understanding of batteries, 47.7 volts, 48 volts on the battery. That's basically 50%. So, that's on the front one. The little battery is basically half gone and the rear is uh, 50 volts. So that's like 60, 70 percent. Uh, basically, yeah, there's a lot of range in this battery. These these batteries, I should say. Uh, and that's 17 miles or 16.8 miles. And on this ride, I have been absolutely cooking because I got rained on. What the heck? It doesn't rain here. Well, today's a different story. Check the link below this video for the current price and any promotions going on. If you're in the market for a fat tire electric bike with long range, I hope that this review has helped shed some light on this e-bike. If this is not what you're looking for, I have many other electric bike reviews on my channel. So click this video here on the screen now and I'll catch you in my next video.